Hey guys, this is Crap Hunter, and welcome back to World of Tanks. Woo! And welcome to the test server. Well, admittedly, yes, this isn't the test server, but at the time of this recording, the test server is currently down for maintenance. Yeah. Um, so I thought, quickly record this and be on my way. So yes, uh, this will be the last video featuring the test server stuff. Oh dear. Well, it's been an interesting test server, to say the least. Um, yes, in this video, I will be joined with my good friend Nimbus, because we're going to be looking at the updated map of Malinovka. Huzzah! Yes, the new map of Malinovka, which will hopefully now make most of World of Tanks maps actually fun to play. Fingers crossed. So without further ado, let's get into the action. So here we are on the new Muravanka map, and as you can automatically see, we've got ourselves a new spawn point, so instead of being right next to the forest, now myself and friend of mine Nimbus is here to help me out with the map exploration, and there's a little bit of lag. Um, he is over by his command point. As you can see, there's a much better access to both sides of the map now, so that way teams have a lot of fairer advantage. Alright Nimbus, um, I think to sort of start off with, we'll save the magic forest for last. Come meet me by E1. Um, Roger that. The, the, you're like the 1-2 line. So, one of the new features of this map is that um, they've actually extended it by a couple of hundred meters. So now it's a much wider, hopefully much more engaging environment. Um, oh wow, they've nerfed the hill a bit now, haven't they? <laughs> Yes, oh. I've already seen it. It's really flat, but yeah. also pretty damn good uh, for hull down, uh, for artillery, can hide there, and um, some tank destroyers that can have gun depression are really good over there, I already noticed. Yeah, um, this is quite nice. Um, certainly, certainly a lot nice, certainly very nice, uh, very pleasant. Hang on. Um, okay, oh, there you are, cool. Yo, T49, <laughs> uh, come check out, I think, what will be a very much primary artillery spot, which in a sense actually provides a fair amount of cover for them. Um, you've got a number of bushes here, which I reckon, given how a match will go, have got will give the enemy TDs a lot of sight lines, but definitely around here we're going to see some oh, wow. um, campers, TDs. I mean, if you have a look from, say, about here, we can poke our nose through the forests. There is definitely some shots on the tower, which means any team who is pushing up on the one, two, three line will easily be, you know, having to have some shots by the um, opponents over here. Though I do like it. I actually quite like this um, extendedness. Yes. yes, it looks pretty good. Uh, artillery will certainly be able to use that position uh, very well, since especially uh, artillery that's. Well, for example, M53 uh, and 55 and GW Panther with their pseudo turrets don't have to move a lot to hit a large portion of the map. Mm, that is true. Um, I'm also, you've got to think about the fast artillery as well, who could just hide there if they need to, like the AMX yeah. artillery. Okay, yeah. so you can have a little bit of a village area to explore. Was this... This wasn't in before the patch. No, no it wasn't. this is really a. This has a really become a brawling area. Nice, I like. I, I actually have to, I have to admit, it was nice to see some vibrance in this map. Now, I've, I've noticed on the mini map, there's a lot more vibrance in this. It used to be just like maybe a hey, couple of villages. What? Look at this. What? This piece of hill has been extended. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. And on so, the other side as well. Okay, curiosity is going to kill me. What do you think about this area for hulling down? Because obviously, have you noticed, there's the, both sides of this hill now have become extended, which means I'm going to assume, if we go slightly back the way we came, Sorry. Yeah. Um, would you say around this area might have a better chance for, say, tankers of a T-30 design, T-34, T-32, um, like around here, I reckon? Here's like, mm. a, like a really... like I mean, hell, I'm not a hull down person, but... Sight lines wise, if you have a good gun depression and a strong turret, you could totally dominate a good portion of the town. But that said, there's still a fair amount of, bit of lag there. Bit of lag. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, my experience with T34, T30s, and T29 is that they really like hold down, but this isn't is a little bit too flat. And over here, I would say you can use this, but then when I stay here, it's very steep, so it will be yeah. tricky to use. I mean, I'm not a TD. I'm not a um, American heavy slash person. I think I think I've spent too much time playing as the E75 or. <laughs> oh, hello! They've actually given this bit of a hill now, which is kind of cool. Right. I did. You know, this was the one thing that when they were talking about how they changed the map in the ASP 
ASAP thing, they didn't oh, mention yes. a single thing about this corner, as, you know, in the previous map. I reckon we'd be about, we'd be on the end line, say about uh, here-ish. This would possibly be the end line, perhaps a little further to the left, um, where the map would actually end. In fact, I think we found the edge of the map here. Do you notice the text change from the grass to, like, there? Oh, wow, yeah. Really so, clear. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the old border. So we've got an extra few feet there going, which is not bad at all. So there's a lot uh, more open space, which once again, artillery and TDs, I reckon are going to love this part of the map. Or heavies. They're more likely heavies than anyone else. Yeah, especially a campus. <laughs> oh, massive. I can really imagine having like light ELC tanks sort of whipping around these hills. This is really cool. Yeah, okay, how about, how about your base now? So you've got a few buildings still, um, which is nice. Base is in the open, so with some bushes and a part of that barn is also covered. So hmm. you can, you know, hide yourself if you're capping. Yeah, but like then that looks like temporary cover. Yeah, yes, it's temporary. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, you didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, that big is. Gun. Yeah, big gun. I still can't get over how this thing's still apparently legal. Ah, right. Okay. So yes. I still can't get over the that. Sorry? No, you first. Yeah, I still can't get over that you can fire this thing broadside and then not suddenly drive on one track. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was come for a certain part of the feature. Right, now query, is this a suicide's heaven? Yes, it is. I think it is. Yep. Oh. Yeah, you can drown. You can totally Giant drown. Giant black spikes only. Yeah, there's a bit of... Bit, watch out when you're driving by the river. Okay, I'm going to query this, so hopefully I won't lag out and, like, kill myself in the process. Can you Would be get... funny for your video. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no, I can't. I I can't. I can't. I cannot. Guess what? Oh. Nobody has boats. Screw you, boats. Yeah. So I think this will possibly be a suicide patch for artillery. Um, luckily we have. Um, ooh, nice. Uh, yes. Luckily we have the. Sorry. That punishment system is putting into place. Yeah. Isn't it? Which is cool. I, that's what I want to say. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Okay. So this uh. in the previous version of the map was the. Uh, was it this bit? Um, or we no, missed that? Uh, I don't think we, I think we, we just missed, missed the giant yep. uh, camper hill. Yeah, I think they might have that, or if they've lowered it. Have they lowered it? Right, okay, let's try and um, put our that memory. That is this part. Yeah, this is it. This is the original camper spot, which they have now completely flattened. Okay. This just like cool. the buildings that were over there, some sorts. Uh, yes. My shot disappeared. We will go into the... I think we will go... Actually, no, let's not go into the magical forest yet. We've, we've yet to do it. We've got a really... Be, d be disciplined. We're not going in the magical forest yet. Let's take a look around the village now. We'll go from, say, H6 to about um, CD6. Okay, so here's the village now, and as it's a lot more vibrant, especially along the 4 5 line. A lot more buildings, a lot more cover. Hopefully, meaning that, um, hopefully, gives that this, this village a bit more of a brawler's atmosphere. I mean, I don't know if there's any major differences, but I do believe those weren't there beforehand. Like, everything leading up to that hill was kind of an open bed. Like, as soon as you got, say, here, you were kind of open to mo multiple shots from bad guys. Oh, yes. But is it me or also the, some houses more apart from each other? Yeah, I've noticed that. It's like, as much as it's clustered, it's big enough for vehicles to be able to maneuver around, which is nice, don't get me wrong. I mean, hell, I've, we've all been there when we're, like, trying to reverse, and then all of a sudden, hi, building! Let me just block you whilst you're trying to fanatically reverse. Yeah, it seems like instead of, well, they did add a few buildings, removed a few, but it is more like they actually um, extended the ra the distance between buildings. Mm, maybe but it, that's in a the big spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say maybe in a bid to try and spread the village out, they might have done it like that, perhaps. Which is cool. I mean, there's still a bit of an open gap, say, around here at D four and five where you can't easily get caught out but this hill i think still has that prevalent um sight lining all over the map have you noticed there's a little bit more tree coverage now have you like there wasn't as many trees as there were now um, yes it was well probably taken from the magic forest i think <laughs> well they had to plant the trees somewhere oh of course you can't just demolish trees that would be un you know, that would be unecological Okay, so... Ooh, well, hello, hello, hello. Camp spot sighted. Come and follow me. <laughs> See that massive horde of trees there? I well, mean, they're all, all knocked downable. Oh, lag spike. Hang on, I'm going to probably crash through them. Oh, no! 
Um, I managed uh -oh. to miss most of them. That's impressive. But yeah, look at this total camp zone, and it's right by the base. So yeah, this yeah, is this, this might is be the second zone. artillery spot or the first heavy spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually think more TD spot. that think like, hey, I'm going to protect the. Um, yeah, the like all the all, the all the tanks that just can't be asked to go further than five meters from base. It's like, yep, I'm just gonna camp right here. With that said, let's have a little bit look on the nine zero side of it, and then finally delve into the magical forest. So, doom and death. Well, hopefully, it's no longer magical. And just you know, uh, as the Amazon, like the Amazonian forest, pillaged. Oh, lag spike. Oh, rolling hills. That's great. The hills are alive with the sound of lag. There we go. So, still the same kind oh, of. Crap, open I'm still driving. I'm still driving. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. No, don't go in the uh, river. No! <laughs> <Just> in <time. laughs> that was so good. <laughs> World of tanks, get your legs, pikes, and all the police. <laughs> Oh my, yeah, this is probably a good reason why roaming shouldn't be allowed, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I want it to come in, but if this is what would happen in World of Tanks, I think they'd need to practice more. Okay, well, let's take a look around the border. Let's still just about miss this, but... Okay, so is there like a little, there's like a tiny-esque village, I reckon probably more for like a safeguard, because I reckon this is probably where, um... This is, I think this is just the turn to force the fill. Right, ooh. Yeah, that's not destructible, um... That is destructible. I gotta save my amp. I gotta save my cash. There's like five thousand credits per shell on that. Um, oh, you have the premium. <laughs> well, I didn't know which one was the premium. I thought this was just the standard, and then all of a sudden, oh crap! It's five thousand per shot. Okay, so we are now finally in the so-called magical forest, which is no longer manage uh, management. Yes, it's not management. Um, magical, and it now is more of an average Joe, rather nice-looking. Uh, I'm gonna say German forest. Like, imagine Teutonberg. Like, for example, you get on that hill, I'm a Roman legion. And you're like the angry Germans. Or in your case, as you're Dutch, you're the angry Dutchman. <sighs> it's a shame there's no ramp, otherwise then you could be the flying Dutchman. <laughs> uh, I, but trust me, we, we have done a lot of flying Dutchman uh, uh, stuff uh, when I was still in Cirque. And, yeah. <laughs> they have killed all the jump spots. Oh, boy. That's sad. Um, oh well, at least you can enjoy the days. So yeah, this map, this part of the map now, hopefully is. While I reckon there's still going to be a fair amount of people who still believe in camping to the most highest extent, um, I reckon the worst part of this map, which I am not entirely sure if they've actually done very well. I think this bit could still be. Oh, actually no. Okay, I take back what I said. Look at this. They've dipped oh. it. They they've, dipped. They dipped. And they've changed the te as you can see. Also, they've done a very good job in differentiating the textures. I mean, check it out. Mm. One minute I'm in, I'm in old, and now I'm in new. Old, Ooh. new. <laughs> check out them <laughs> texture changes. <laughs> All right. Well, so, what are you well, the yeah, the magic force of Phil now really looks like a nice brawling spot with access to these hills for, yeah, the hull down turrets can you use this. Hold down tanks, not to hold down turrets. <laughs> Do you think um, artillery could be a threat in this forest as much? Because you know, in the previous um, in the mm. previous Miravanka, if you were spotted in the forest, there was a high chance that you were going to end up getting your ass handed to by whatever artillery was in the game. So, do you think with this new kind of hill, a lot more um, difference in the terrain, you know, bumps and hills and buffs and stuff? I mean, yeah, there isn't that much still to go for, and there are still some camping zones. But I reckon, do do you think mm. that um, there'll be yeah, a this giant? This giant pot in the middle might be the only particularly safe spot, I think. Because this is a little bit steep. If you hug this hill really tight you can you have a you have a chance to evade. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. Never mind, my fault. Bang. But no, that's my fault. <laughs> well it is basically the only way to a little bit evade artillery, but only from um, the long barrels uh, non howitzers uh, tanks like the, I will say very high tier uh, T92 pretty direct fire artillery but Conqueror gun carrier which is the ultimate howitzer will easily hit you still here yeah I reckon yeah um, 
I still, I think if there will be artillery, then there will be most likely be in that little village part over there, mm, because that makes buildings. Sense. But then again, um, that is like we're pretty much on the um, part of the map now. Like, if you will, this is our midline. Like, just here, along this line here, is literally the equator of the map. So, if um, yeah, we are a lot to of be brawling parties. Yeah, I. You know what? I reckon this map, when it finally gets put into the um, live server, I reckon this map may have a fair amount of campiness still. But maybe, like, for example, um, you know, uh, El Haluf, when they change the whole, like, northern approach, the gameplay will definitely be changed, with some elements still remaining, but who knows, maybe... I mean, I don't know, what, what would you think about this map? Do you think it's any better than it? I mean, obviously it's looking better, but, you know, do you think this will make change the game much, or...? Um, it will actually also put people more in the middle of the map, I think. Because it's partly more open, but also more dense. Uh, I think more people will try to venture through the middle, uh, set some TD spots, try to cover each other, at least if they're platoons, because everyone knows random people are always... Well, most oh, of the well, time. Oh, oh crap. Whoa, shit! <laughs> <laughs> that, we that well was a bastard, wasn't he? <laughs> It's like, I'm taking you with me, you're falling down the well. And he didn't really quite anticipate my tank being this big. Yeah, well, I did anticipate you to do that evasive maneuver. Yeah, same. <laughs> Watch the wells. But no, I mean, this is quite, um, this is certainly a, I like this map. It's certainly made this map a lot less campy. I think that that's the best way to put it. Uh, yep. All I'm right. capturing your base. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> Magic. Uh. Yeah, you missed. Want to see some real magic? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Hey, oh. you missed as well. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, that's the new map, everyone. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick segment. Thank you very much, Nimbus, for joining me. Now, stand no still. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. I'll probably Ooh. help you when the Firefly gets released. Oh, shit. Yep, definitely, definitely. Ah. Oh, shit, I'm sideways. <laughs> so am I. We can't fix it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching this, guys. If you like this kind of content, do feel free to let me know in the comment section down below um, on the like button and, of course, subscribing to the channel. And boom! I, want, I only wanted to hack you bastards. <laughs> anyway, if you um, like this kind of content, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Also, what you know, here's a question for the video. Um, what do you guys think of the new map do you think it'll be better now that they've changed it or do you think that um it'll be just you know just the same but probably slightly less campy if you don't like it at all you'll, even if you don't like it at all so anyway thank you very much for watching this guys and i will catch you next time once again thank you very much nibbers for joining me and i will see you next time this is crap Hunter, signing